Hey, Nils Rasmussen here. I would like to read you a portion of the start of a short story I'm, uh, I've written. It's going to be in the, a book coming up that I wrote. It's called uh, A Bunch of Short Stories of the Robots in Space. You can buy it around Halloween or so. Anyway, uh, this short story is titled Commodore 8000. Let's get started. <clears throat> if you know anything about the legendary Commodore 8000, you will agree it is a computer unlike any other within the known galaxy. Over the course of time since the Commodore's creation, men of science, philosophers, and playboys have all flocked from across the stars for only a chance to use it, at a price of course. The computer was owned and maintained by the prestigious University of Dreisidel, located on the tiny planet Kip within the Parasonian Cluster. The reason that the Commodore 8000 was so highly coveted lay in the simple fact that it was always wrong. It was not wrong every now and then. It was not wrong a good majority of the time. It was always wrong. Always. The amazing thing was that its wrong answers were guaranteed to be wrong. This included its predictions. If one were to ask the Commodore whether or not it was going to rain tomorrow, if it answered no, it was a 100% certainty that the following day would be plagued by showers. A machine which possesses the ability to predict the future, no matter how the conclusions, conclusions, no matter how the conclusions were reached, has the potential to be the most powerful tool which mankind has ever held. The resulting possibilities of such a tool were a dangling carrot in front of the eyes of those who sought power, knowledge, and of course, wealth. Professor Idis Reed, the Commodore 8000's inventor, had passed away due to a massive overdose of space heroin shortly after its completion, as no one could find any sorts of notes or blueprints for the computer in his lab. All of the Commodore's secrets were buried along with the professor. Since then, Scores of engineers and scientists have toiled away in hopes of replicating Professor Reed's work. Not one of them succeeded. There was a partial success by Dr. William S. Shockley with the invention of the galaxy's first maybe computer. But it didn't really catch on. Like Professor Reed, Dr. Shockley ended up overdosing on space heroin shortly thereafter. To read more, you'll have to order my book. Short. Oh, a bunch of short stories about robots in space. Halloween-ish. Nils Rasmussen signing off.